A while ago, I made a tutorial on how to remove background with AI Magic Mask. While this method of removing background is works for some, but for others, it was just too much of a hassle. Today, I'm sharing another way to remove background, and this time we're using the depth map. I will be going through how to do it, when you should do it, also the limitation of removing background using depth map. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so right here I have a video of myself. This was shot on my iPhone with the cinematic mode and I'll explain why I shot in this mode later. Let's go to the color page and we're gonna drag and drop the depth map into our node. Right here we want to adjust the limit to remove all the background except for me. So let's adjust map level and we're gonna pull this to Cancel out the far limit. I think that uh, here, right here, is pretty good. I think. And then we're gonna for the near limit. We're gonna pull it right down to make the person pure white. Right there is good. We don't don't need to bother about all the other stuff first. The main thing that we need to do right here is to make sure that we are selecting the person that will we want the background to remove is pure white and anything behind him and it's just pure black and right there is about good i think that's that's about it we can we can play back and see how it looks for a little bit that's, that's pretty neat okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click the node space and then add an alpha output and then we're gonna connect this blue the mask right here to the alpha output and we're gonna close the depth map preview and right here we got it See, so the, the more important right here is that we want to remove everything that is around our person. And other than that is fine. Because what we can do right here is that we just go, go back to this node and just create a window. And we're going to put it right over here. Select this stuff right here. And we're just going to hit invert. And there we go. We have ourselves a mask. Our self background removed. We got a little bit of leak right here, but that is uh, not easy to remove, by the way. So this is how you do it. And let's talk about when you should do it. You should only use depth map when you have a computer that is like 20 years old or maybe just 10. Because depth map, I don't think depth map runs on a lot of GPU. It can run a little bit faster. We can just right click and render in place and that way mm -hmm. It's going to render out a video with the effect on it and it's going to play back a little bit more smoother. So I actually went and test out using AI Magic Mass rendering, I think. Okay, let me check, check for a while. So I did a test with tracking with the AI Magic Mass. Let's see when do we start right here. Let's fast forward a little bit. Okay, it's tracking right here. All right, it's tracking here it takes about two minute and 37 seconds right, right here two minute and 37 seconds for the text over and then this is by just just this is just the tracking data and then right here we have a uh, render in place how long does the render in place too no hey there we go here we start here the render in place take about two minutes and 17 seconds which is you know a little bit more faster because <laughs> you know this is this right here is you no know, it's like i think uh it's i think it's like 20 15 percent faster right and then you also need to know that once you render in place the playback is gonna be smooth but not for the ai magic mask because if you just change one of the settings or you will need to retrack again and you don't need to do that when you render it in place so yeah let's talk about the limitation of removing background with that map the reason why i shot on a iphone let me try to control z all the way back to before i started this video i have a timeline with everything oh there you go so let me track this real quick all right guys so this is what it looks like when you remove background with the AI magic mask it just look it just look a little bit better like you see you, you we got our mic removed and we got our background removed and um, which is like pretty decent right and um, this is what it looks like when you remove background with the depth map and because that map the way it removes things in the frame is by separating yourself with distance behind or in front of you so what you want to remove 
background yes you did remove background but everything in front of you and also beside you will still appear so i also tried it with this one right here it just looks hideous and i just want to say that the way that that map works is that it analyzed the footage for the sharpest part of the image and also the softer part of the image to determine its depth so right here my camera is a micro four third it's very hard to create that of feel like when you are like very close to the subject so right here i got my background removed so let me show you what it looks like it looks before it looks it looks like this and after it looks like this yes it's got the background removed but like when i would move to spaces it still caught the balcony of the background right here right here this is just to show you the distance between the camera and me and i know we don't have too much distance to separate me from the background so maybe that is the one of the reason why that it is, when i use it to remove background it is not that clean and then right here at the next video i try to zoom in to 60 mil and also try to get a blurry background and what i got is something like this when you don't have too much space for you to film like if your house is very cluttered this is the problem that you will run into actually this is door frame like the background right here is actually blurry enough to tell that it is behind me because we're using depth map and it has its limitation to separate background and foreground together and also the subject so i cannot seem to remove this away from my foreground and this is the result i get so which is not really pleasant okay let me just try to give an alpha output to see what it looks like let's disable this that map preview and yeah this is what it looks like it is not a pleasant result so right here i turn to my iphone and then i using the cinematic mode i can use the depth sensor to create artificial bokeh they can call it and it works pretty well on the phone but you just need to be aware that there are nothing else right beside you because um there is there is still gonna be something beside you that's gonna be in the same depth as you be the same distance away from you and the camera so yeah so that's the limitation of using that map to remove background the takeaway here is that using that map might be a little bit faster but there are just too many boxes to tick too much real world requirement if you have the time use AI magic mask it will be a lot cleaner but always always use a green screen if you know that you want your background to be removed anyways if you guys want to learn about how to remove background using AI magic mask click the video right here and i'll see you guys in the next video sorry <laughs>